Hi YouTube, once again I am here for another political rant against the machine, which is going to be nominated again. The political rage. Um, most people in recent, in recent times have realized that there is controversy between Rush Limbaugh da, 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 and Michael J. Fox. Unfortunately, Michael J. Fox has taken the more gracious stand if you guys haven't seen the Katie Couric special, it's on Bit One YouTube right now. And what we're actually seeing here is Michael J. Fox symptoms on TV, explaining his situation, and rather than trying to say, Rush, why'd you say this? Why'd you do this? Is actually approaching this in a very intelligent way by saying, for those who disagree with me, let's just have a discussion. Rather than throwing insults, rather than directly confront confronting him on the issue, Rush immediately decides to go to his conservative audience and say, look, I don't care, look, Michael J. Fox was exaggerating. The reason why he's exaggerating, or the reason why he wasn't taking his medication, was to support a Democrat. Watch the Oberman Report, which, in my opinion, can, at times can be very biased, but that's how the media is right now. You have to take it with a grain of salt. And what I'm taking behind this entire situation is Rush needs to apologize. When you do something wrong, you have to apologize. What does he do? He goes and says, well, the media, well, you know, damn those Democrats, damn them liberals. They're using Michael J. Fox. Does that seem right at all that a person who's willingly to come on, make a, a talk about his issues, and talk about how, how he feels about the subject of stem cell research. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I believe those are just called celebrities. Celebrities in the past have been making comments about political argument. Even past presidents, they use their quote-unquote celebrity to influence the public's opinion. So what are we doing? Most of the times we listen to celebrities because they have face recognition. Michael J. Fox was just trying to do the same thing. Most people try to use their own support, try to use the, either vo their voice or occupation. I've, many of you are, are planning to go to polls in the United States and vote on various propositions. In California, we can see various propositions where if they're supported by teachers, they use their position. And that's simply that's all that's going on. People use sympathy as a form of propaganda. This is common practice, but it's also a way to garner votes. I think it's a shameless thing for Limbaugh to attack the Democrats of simply using that, that universal method of publicity. And I wonder why Limbaugh has to resort to only attacking the liberal, the quote-unquote liberal media, the quote-unquote the, the, the concerned celebrities about research. And if you disagree with me on stem cell research, which, which, which I'm supporting, then that's fine. Put a response. Put more posts about how you disagree with me. That's fine. I mean, I was thrilled to see some posts about my political views, about how you may think I'm an idiot sometimes, but that's cool too. But you have to remember that unless you're willing to put a video about how you personally feel about this, about or if you write an intelligent comment, Right when I see something that sounds very idiotic or you have the attention span of a, of a gerbil, then I wonder, do you even have an intelligent opinion about anything? And if you are, why are you even, if you don't, why are you even watching a political conversation? Are you trying to get some knowledge from a random person on YouTube? I mean, is that your only source of knowledge, which is YouTube? If it is, that's really pathetic and sad. Now. Going back to the subject at hand, Parkinson's disease. If you can inform me more about the subject than saying that Michael J. Fox was faking it, then I, please educate me, inform me. If you can tell me that the rush is absolutely right, that every single thing he says is right, tell me. Now, I'm also going to talk about Keith Olbermann versus o Bill O'Reilly. I believe that Keith Olbermann merely is his show. The reason why he gets so ra good, good is trying to improve his ratings is that he's the only person in the media that takes direct shots at Bill O'Reilly. What happens? It's entertaining. That's all news is now. It's entertaining. 
the amount of information we get, butt kiss. You probably can watch, get the same information from CNN.com, Fox, Fox News, or MSNBC, or even your local TV. The the, show, the information that actually matters, like what who died in Iraq today, um, what what's the politicians going on, what the deal with the props, or who's won the World Series. Unfortunately. What many people are doing right now is they're getting information, they're not getting so much inner information. The reason that you have the no spin zone, the countdown, and other shows like that is simply to entertain, not to inform. And I'm getting really annoyed with the media. It's not so much that I'm looking to be informed or educated. The only reason why I go on YouTube and actually watch the countdown, or even watch the factor, is to be entertained. And I guess that's the main reason why the news is getting ratings. People want to be entertained. Because, honestly, TV today is not that funny sometimes. We are more amused by reality, quote-unquote reality, rather than the actual scripted stuff, even though most of reality is scripted. So, in conclusion, Rush, Michael J. Fox, it's in Rush, why don't you just apologize? You did something wrong. I honestly don't think your conservative background will give a, f give a flying care about if you apologize or not. It is just the considerate thing to do. It is the it is the grown up thing to do. Unfortunately a lot of people in the media believe that the lessons that you teach a child in an elementary school playground is yell, do not yell, do not try to overturn a person, do not use threats, do not use angry and hateful language against another child. These are the exact same things that the people in the media and celebrities around the world are being rewarded for. Why? Because it gives them attention. And guess what? Just because you get the attention means you're rewarded for it. I'm sick of people being getting rewarded for poor behavior. So America, the world, let's try to correct ourselves. With that, have a good day.